All right, food truck health code requirements and food truck inspections checklist. So here are the 12 most important things to be aware of during an inspection when you get your food truck. Now, don't get me wrong, some of these will apply, all of these may apply, and they may have slight variations based on the city and county's ordinances, but these 12 cover quite a bit of information about what you're going to expect when you get your food truck inspections. So it is Damien from uh, Food Truck Freaks. Welcome to our channel. It's all about food trucks and food on truck entrepreneurship. If this is your first video, definitely hit the subscribe button or check out my channel. I'm not new to YouTube. We have dozens of actual channels dedicated to food entrepreneurship. Uh, we have Marketing Food Online. We have over 100,000 subscribers on there. So definitely check out those links. There's a thousand plus videos and resources available. So let's dive into it. Number one. Food storage and preparation areas. Now, inspectors will check to ensure that all food is stored at the correct temperature and that the preparation areas are clean and free of what's known as cross-contamination. So you definitely want to maintain any type of hygiene and cleanliness when it comes to food storage. Number two, hand-washing facilities. Yes, inspectors will check to ensure that hand-washing facilities are easily accessible, stocked with soap and paper towels for your employees and yourself, and also are in good working order. Order. This was actually something that we had in our commercial kitchen here at our facility. Um, it's actually the Department of Agriculture inspects us, not the health department. Slightly different than a food truck, but we had to have all of those sinks, including an individual separate hand washing sink as well. Now, number three, food handling procedures. Yes, inspectors will observe food handlers while they're actually there, by the way, to ensure that they are following proper food handling procedures, such as wearing gloves while they're preparing food, using utensils, and handling food properly. So they're actually going to observe you, believe it or not, um, in the process of what your steps are for making your food products. Uh, most of the time, they're going to take some a few extra minutes and say, hey, you know what? Put together some food. I want to see how you're doing it. This is absolutely normal and something you will definitely run an encounter with, okay? Number four, pest control. Super, super important, guys, especially with a food truck. Um, so inspectors will check for evidence of pests such as rodents or even cockroaches, and will ensure that proper pest control measures are in place on your food truck. So if you don't have those in place and you don't have it inspected, make sure one really important thing that kind of gets overlooked is when you're dealing with a food truck, being that it's a mobile kitchen, making sure all the quarters are sealed properly, that there's nothing getting in and nothing getting out kind of a thing. You want to make sure that it's completely sealed up because that is one major role in pest control when it comes to your mobile kitchen. Number five, food labeling. Okay, so inspectors will check to ensure that all food is properly labeled with ingredients and any relevant allergen information. So again, if you've got ingredients, you've got them in jars, canisters, refrigerators that you have, maybe you have a freezer on your truck, make sure that they are labeled properly. This is something I ran into when I ran my bakery um, and we had our inspections as well from the Department of Agriculture when they came in. Our bakery was uh, kind of pretty much the same guidelines as a food truck. Uh, everything had to be food labeled properly, making sure the expiration dates, first in, first out, that method and everything else. So make sure that you've got the right food labeling, not just some random information on there because they will check every single bottle, container, and canister. That I can actually test for personally, my own experience. Number six. Uh, equipment and utensils. So inspectors will also check that all equipment and utensils are in good working order and are actually being properly clean and sanitized. Remember, you're most likely going to have a three compartment sink on your food truck. It might be small, but you have to wash, rinse and sanitize. That's kind of like the norm in the food industry. So you want to be sure that you're following those procedures and sanitizing, not just rinsing and washing, but they have to be clean. Number seven. Okay, so water supply. Uh, very, very crucial, actually very important aspect of a food truck because inspectors will check to ensure that the water supply is safe to use for food preparation and that it is being properly stored and handled. Because keep in mind, you have your wastewater at the end of the day that you got to you got to dump out to the commercial kitchen, um, and of course your water supply. If you're not tapped into something that's stationary, um, like an outlet or an outside source, you got to make sure you have enough water in your system and in your water tanks for your food truck. Okay, guys. Number eight. Waste management. So inspectors will check to ensure also that the waste is being properly stored and disposed of to avoid any contamination potential. So this is something that's really, really important as well. Not only will you, of course, have waste on your truck when you get have your trash and everything else, you want to make sure that it's stored properly in a canister or a container or something away from where the food is being prepped. You don't want to cross-contaminate anything that's been used or dirty or trash-like that's going to be near food prep. Okay. Number nine, this is really, really another one that's um, 
not overlooked, but you need to make sure that you definitely get one on your truck because you're going to have propane tanks. You're going to have all kinds of electricity. You're going to have all kinds of potential propane or gas or something as far as generators too. Number nine, fire safety. Inspectors will check to ensure that the food truck has working fire extinguishers, smoke alarms, and potential fire suppression system. So you want to make sure that if you're dealing with anything like open flames, or if you're cooking within the fire, uh, the fire truck, the food truck itself, that you also have that fire suppression system. Those are basically like a, a small miniature uh, sprinkler system within the unit to make sure it puts out anything potentially that can break out. So you want to make sure you get that done as well. Number 10, electrical safety. Now, also health department inspectors will check to ensure that all electrical equipment is in good working order and that there are no hazards such as uh, potential frayed wires or even exposed outlets that may not be protected properly. Make sure your electrician who's ever doing your electrical work is doing it to code and is doing it properly. Number 11, emergency procedures. So inspectors will also check as well to ensure that your food truck has emergency procedures in place for you and of course your employees. Now kind of keep in mind that you're working in a very small space. So it's very important that if, you know, God forbid ever something breaks out, you have the ability to get out of the vehicle and exit it properly in order to keep everybody safe, such as a plan for dealing with outbreaks of even foodborne Ill illnesses as well. Maybe that's not necessarily something fire related, but also any of that sort as well. Number 12, licensing and permits. Okay, so inspectors will check also lastly to ensure that your food truck has the proper license and permits to operate in the city and county that it's in. Now, one really important thing to keep in mind when you deal with mobile food kitchens is that you're going to have to potentially have business licenses in every city you operate. It's slightly different than other businesses. The reason being is that if you're, you're conducting business and let's say you're in Miami and you go to Fort Lauderdale, then you go to West Palm Beach and you go to Tampa, they're all going to be having sales within those cities or those counties that you're in. They may be asking you to collect sales tax potentially, or even if you're operating just in general, you're going to have to have a business license. So now the cost of license and permits for food trucks can, of course, vary depending on the location and, of course, local regulations. But on average, they can run anywhere for all of these, of course, between about $1,000 to $5,000 annually. Okay, so keep that in mind, too, that you have to renew these. This is normally not something you just get one time and you're done. You may have to get this done every single year. I know all of the permits and licenses we have uh, within our commercial kitchen actually is, is a yearly thing. So we have to renew them every year. All right. So there you have it, guys. Those are 12 things that you may be looking at. When you have an inspector come in and take a look at your food truck, these are great, great food truck checklists. So you understand what's expected when an, expect, an inspection actually takes place. So if you have any questions about food truck inspections, or if this was helpful, give us a big thumbs up. If you have comments, let us know down below. If you've actually experienced a food truck inspection, how did it go? Let us know in the comments, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on our next video.